So this is the Moon Knight figure from the Disney Plus TV series and it is also part of the Infinity Ultron build a figure wave but actually if you take a look at the pieces that are on the Infinity Ultron figure this specific action figure does not contain or carry a build a figure piece so actually if you're interested just in this you could purchase it and not build the Infinity Ultron action figure so let's examine the contents of our purchase so we have the Moon Knight figure we have the crescent weapons and an extra pair of handsets so the ones that are connected to the figure are weapon holding hands for the crest weapons and the ones that are loose on package are fists let's do a quick 360 of the base figure with the cape so as you have seen earlier, the cape sits at an angle because actually it is not connected to the figure. So if you wish to change the cape on this figure for a soft goods one, then you are welcome to do so. Okay, so we are ready to discuss articulation points on this action figure. So let's start with the head skull. So for those who are interested, to uh, put a cloth goods cape on this action figure that is the type of articulation point that you have so the hood is a floating piece so you have about two centimeters of clearance to put a soft goods clip of good material and as you could see that is the uh, thickness of this cape so with this hood on and you replace this with a nice flowing cape of uh, the particular color or shade of white that is used with the body it's going to look really really good plus you improve the articulation point because you won't have a rubber to rubber contact with this one because this somehow when you have this hood uh, this cape on and it rubs against the base of the hood somehow that impedes articulation point on this action figure plus considering it's a, uh, a dumbbell joint system then you're going to meet a little bit of resistance so the idea of having a cloth goods cape on this figure is a nice mod that you could do or kit bash or modification or whatever you want to call it okay so let's move towards the articulation point on the body so all of the articulation points is just going to be concentrated on the diaphragm area we don't have any waist cut for rotation of the waistline or any articulation points for that matter on this section so all of our articulation points is just going to be located on the diaphragm area so as for backward bends forward bends sideway bends so actually this diaphragm articulation point compensates for the loss of articulation point on the waistline now when you take this figure out of packaging the um, articulation point that would really need focus with regards to heat treatment is going to be on the elbows so the elbows we have a pinless joint system which is really good and those are two points of articulation so i already used um heat gun for this joint system but somehow i think that the joints would really uh, get loose once i dunk this in hot water okay so moving back towards the articulation point of the arm so we have bicep rotation we have full rotation of the arm we have T poses and we have a hinge and rotation 
for the hand. So this is the accessory holding hand or weapon holding hand for this action figure. So moving towards the leg. Okay, so we have this skirt piece or cut piece cover. So is that going to hinder articulation point for the leg? It's not going to hinder articulation point. So leg raises is possible side leg leg raises is possible we have a cut on the thigh for rotation of the thigh and two points of articulation or bend for the knee and how does that knee bend is it nice and clean so that is a nice clean bend so when you put this action figure in um, certain action poses like this one it looks really good so nothing to worry about this portion over here looking really ridiculous okay so moving towards the final articulation point which is going to be the foot so we have your standard marvel legends rocker and your hinge and that is a really big hinge so with regards to articulation point this is a nicely articulating figure you just have to be really careful with regards to the elbow articulation point when you take this figure out of packaging. Make sure you apply the right amount of heat to loosen it up. So let's take a look at the details of the action figure. So let's start with the cape. So the cape is textured on the inner and the outer. So I hope that the camera catches that texture on this cape and it sits at this type of angle so somehow this portion over here is quite the most weighty piece of plastic on this cape material so somehow the figure that i have always topples backward because i think of this angle but i might be wrong but later i'm going to customize this figure with the soft goods cape so let's take a look at the head unit or the head scalp. So I think a little bit of glossy paint or glow in the dark paint is in order for those eyes. So those are the details on the hood. The details on the torso of the action figure. The details on the um, cover for the waistline and the cut piece. So we also have inscriptions on the thighs. And those are the details for the boot and the knee. And the arms and the hands so this is a very detailed action so we have the crest bladed weapons for the figure so let's examine each part so we have a little bit of details on the um, sharp edges of this crest weapon and it is also present on the other side And when you flip these two crescents um, on the back side, so we have connection points and you could actually um, make this as one single piece. So just connect them together this way. And press. And there you go. So we have one whole crescent piece for this accessory. This is how the figure looks with his crescent weapons. So this Moon Knight figure stands at 6.25 inches and for size comparison with other Marvel Legends action figures that you could possibly already have in your collection. As for another size comparison, we have the Page Punchers Superman figure and my custom King Shazam action figure. Both of these figures are of course 
from McFarlane DC Multiverse. So this is how this um, Moon Knight action figure would scale with DC Multiverse action figures. So this ends my review of the Marvel Legends Disney Plus TV series Moon Knight action figures. So if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe to help me grow my channel. And see you on the next action figure review.